Hello people on the internet. In this video, I use both watercolor and oil paint to make up paint. I've always been afraid of watercolor. Water never listens to me. I can never be the master of it, but rather its co-worker. Which is fun, I guess. What you're seeing right now is one of the first watercolor paintings I did in a long time. Here I was using masking technique to paint a scene of a cabin in the woods. This painting is not related to the water and oil project of this video, it's just me warming up again with watercolor. I followed a tutorial from a book. Okay, let's start this experiment. Watercolor is way more transparent than oil, and with the fat over lean rule of oil painting, I have to paint watercolor first. I started with pencil drawing to mark out the portrait I will be painting later with oil. I use 300 grams per square meter watercolor paper because lighter watercolor paper can't take the multiple washes I will be doing, let alone the support of oil paints. If I have heavier watercolor paper, for example like 1000 grams per square meter ones, I would be more than happy to use that instead. After I done with the painting background with watercolor, I started painting the figure with acrylic to make a grisaille layer. This layer of acrylic is the layer I hope to protect this paper from oil because oil slowly eats off paper and that's why we prime canvas or wood board with gesso. And here comes the oil paint, the glazing method. The glazing took several days because I had to wait for the previous layer to be completely dry before applying a new layer. That's it for the sketch. I think the clouds appear too dirty. I have to come up with a better background. Also, although I didn't see any oil stains on the back of the paper after many days, using only one layer of regular acrylic to protect paper from oil is a bit sketchy in my opinion. So here I decided to test how transparent gesso would behave on watercolor paint. gesso dulled down the color for sure, but it's reasonably transparent. Trying some sky slash cloud designs. All the watercolor paper I used so far was teared from a cold-pressed watercolor sketchbook. And this is a picture.